folks, Dave here at Thunder Mesa Studio with a little side project today to keep things interesting. Over the past decade or so, there are a couple of spots on the layout fascia that have begun to look a little worse for wear and tear. Sometimes I change my mind about where certain components on the layout will be located, and then when I move them, I end up with kind of ugly spots on the fascia like this. Now, I could try to patch these holes and sand and repaint everything, but that won't help me much in places like this, where a big section has been cut away. This, by the way, is where the walk-around throttle used to plug in before I went to wireless control. So I've decided to cover up these trouble spots and add a distinctive touch to the layout at the same time by creating a couple of faux bronze plaques of the Thunder Mesa Mining Company Herald. Artwork for the Railroad's Herald had been created many years ago using Adobe Illustrator, and that meant it would be a relatively simple matter to convert it into something that could be cut out on the laser. I cloned the file in order to create two complete plaques. Each would consist of a backing plate where the graphics would simply be etched, and then overlaid with dimensional graphics cut from an identical file. I chose some 1 16th inch thick MDF as a good material for this, and set about creating the plaques, blown up to five and a half inches in diameter. So now I've got uh, all of the laser cut pieces that I'm going to need to make my faux bronze plaques. And let me show you how those are going to go together. In uh, theory, it should be really quite easy. All I have to do is match up the uh, cutout pieces with the engraved lines, like so. And then I've got all the letters for the lettering. So um, theoretically this shouldn't be too tough and shouldn't take very long. I'll just use some yellow carpenter's glue and I think what I want to do is start from the middle and work my way out towards the edges on each one. Just get some glue on the back of this piece. I got a nice even coat on here. I'm going to be real careful with this piece because it's going to want to break right there. <laughs> now, I should just be able to line this up with the etched lines. Press it down. And I can use some weights on here if I want to. Make sure that gets good adhesion. Actually, before I do that, I want to take a toothpick pick any blobs of glue out of these uh, little uh, crevices here. This isn't going to take very long to dry. Uh, let's do this one next. All right, let's line this up with the etched circle. Before I get uh, too much further on these, I want to uh, drill a couple of holes in each one. I'm just going to start them with my pin vise, put a little nail place for the uh, drill bit to grab onto. And these holes will be for some uh, number four uh, half inch brass screws, the rounded head slotted brass screws. I thought that would make a nice look. When they're mounted on the uh, on the layout fascia. Well, now I've started on the stars and the lettering, and uh, that's going to take a little while, so. Let's do a time lapse, shall we?
just need to put these outer rings on. So now, how do we make these look like they're made out of cast bronze? I'm so glad you asked. Once again, Rust-Oleum to the rescue. The first step in creating our faux bronze finish is this uh, Rust-Oleum metallic hammered bronze spray paint. We'll get a couple of good coats of that on there. Go from there. Well, let that uh, bronze paint dry for about two hours. It's still just a little tacky, but I think it's it's good enough that we can uh, do the finished painting on it. Uh, what I really like about this is that it creates a texture on the surface. It's a very thick paint, and it creates this hammered, so I'll kind of move it in the light there so you can see it, this hammered uh, bronze texture, uh, which is going to pick up highlights. And also what it does, since the paint's so thick, is it kind of rounds everything off and really gives that look of, of uh, cast bronze. But now I want to uh, finish up the faux painting by bringing out some highlights. Usually if you'd have a, a plaque like this, it'd be cast in bronze, and then they would polish it so that the high surfaces would be shiny and kind of a, a, a brassy gold color. So I've got some um, Vallejo brass, metallic brass, and I'm going to dry brush that on to the high spots now. And for this step I'm using a kind of a semi-stiff filbert shaped brush. It's got that kind of rounded shape on the end. I just want to hit the tops here. The trick here is that you want to get a little bit of, of the, uh, the lighter color on everything, but more of it on the higher spots. So it looks like it just kind of is coming out of that bronze. And keep a dry brush and you build it up in layers. Don't try to put it on all at once. That will not work. All right, that's starting to look like something. These are looking pretty good. I want to come back and dry brush on an even lighter shade. So I'm using some uh, Vallejo Gold just to really make the edges pop. Now I want to add a little bit of age and weathering. And obviously um, bronze, copper, they don't rust, but they get vertigrades, which is a, a green oxidation. Mix up a couple of different greens here, some green chalk. Um, it's kind of a blue green. That darken that with a little black. Yeah, there we go. So I just want this to be down in some of the in between some of the letters. Get some down in there. Particularly down towards the bottom. Because you know. This is indoors, but <laughs> hypothetically, if it was outdoors on a building or something, the water would drip down towards the bottom. And that's what really sells it. Now I'll get a coat of uh, clear acrylic uh, on here. I've got a satin finish. Let's see, where is that? A Krylon uh, clear satin finish fixative. Keep that chalk from going anywhere, and that'll bring a little bit of the shine back too. Let's do this one. I also took this opportunity to get a fresh coat of paint on the fascia and spruce everything up while I'm at it. I just got to figure out where to mount this, where I can put these holes. I'm 
looks about right, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Pencil mark there. Right there. This fish, by the way, is one eighth of an inch thick uh, masonite. In some places, it has uh, wood behind it. Let me change my battery. This one, I think I want to have kind of right there. Yeah. Now, the best way to hang something like this, if you want it straight, is to put. Uh, do one side like I just did here, then I'm going to level this to the best of my ability, like so. Well, that's an improvement, I think, don't you? Yeah, I'm finding those brass screws a little bit too bright, so sprayed some of that uh, hammered bronze into this cup. Just use it to darken these screws up a little bit. I think that dresses up the old layout quite a bit. Hope you enjoyed this little side project and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more from this channel. You can also find out more on my website that's thundermesa.studio where all the projects are, uh, my artwork and uh, model kits from Crescent Creek Models too. You can also follow along on Instagram at thunder.mesa or you can become a patron if you really like what we're doing here at patreon.com slash thundermesa. Until next time, keep moving forward, everybody, and uh, adios for now.